When I first learned how to bend conduit, I thought the goal was to dodge everything. Every tiny bump, every crooked stud, every nail sticking out of the wall. I would just bend around it. I didn't really plan ahead either. I just ran the conduit. By the time I was done, I would have 360 degrees worth of bends packed into one 10 foot stick. Yeah, it looked like a modern art, at least I thought so. <laughs> yeah, try pulling wires with that, forget it. Things changed when I got teamed up with an older journeyman. We're wiring fire smoke dampers, at least 30 floors of them. And uh, yeah, let's just say he wasn't really impressed with my scenic route conduit bends. <laughs> Every time I made one of my little squigglies, he would look at me and uh, say, Hey kid, what are you trying to win an art contest over here? I wired this building. And yeah, of course, pulling wire through all those twists, turns, and condolets wasn't as fun as running a pipe. I learned real quick that just because you can make a bend doesn't mean you should. Yeah, not all of it could be avoided. Sometimes you gotta dance around obstacles, but I learned how to keep it simple, make it straight, and honestly, nine times out of ten, that even look better. Pretty pipe work doesn't always mean fancy, it means smart. Now, back then, I didn't have this fancy level. We were working in the dark, calculating offset after an offset, and man, none of these 30 floors were the same. Everyone was a new puzzle. If I had this thing, let's just say those bends would have been quicker, cleaner, and maybe I wouldn't leave a massive boneyard behind every time I moved to another floor. So yeah, as an apprentice, I made kind of it look like a roller coaster. These days, I keep it straight, keep it smart, and I let this level do the math. Way less swearing, way less wasted pipe, and I still get a laugh remembering my 360 degree masterpieces.